You know, it is absolutely mind boggling when you stop to think about how much Judge Joro put up with. What's going on everyone? This is Christian Duke. You're watching Sight Sounds Flavors on YouTube, SightSoundsFlavors.com. If at any point during this video you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment on the channel. We are here in downtown Louisville. And, um, you know, I think one of the biggest things that a lot of folks have trouble wrapping their heads around is the fact that even though Jarrell Brooks was in another court at times because of the fact that he could not behave himself, he could hear everything, he could see everything, because there's people out there that certainly do not defend Jarrell Brooks's actions and do not think that he was innocent, but do have some misgivings with the judge whenever she would send them to that other courtroom. And I don't think it's a sentiment that was lost upon the judge either. I think she wanted to make sure that the proceedings looked as fair as possible, as impartial as possible. And I think that she wanted to make sure that the pro se defendant got as many opportunities as possible to present a case. However, the problem is, is that the pro se defendant would not abide by the most basic semblances of decorum, would threaten people in open court, would stare people down, would re-traumatize victims and survivors. And, uh, you know, there were times where she was left with no choice but to send him to the other courtroom. But even though he would always say, am I muted? Can you hear me? He could always hear what she was saying. And he could always see what was happening in the court. So the reality of the matter is, is that it was a fair proceeding and there was no issue. This guy here is going really, really fast. But um, it is what it is. I mean, honestly, I feel like there are people out there that believe that this was not a fair trial, namely Don. And there have been more folks that have come out of the woodwork. Some comments I choose not to put up. Now, here's the thing. If you feel that Gerald did not get a fair trial or you feel that something went wrong or whatever, I'm not going to remove your comment. But unfortunately, a lot of the folks, sorry, I thought I dropped a pen. A lot of the folks that leave comments like that also are very vulgar. And um, I don't know if they're trolls. I don't know if they legitimately believe that something went amiss with the trial. But I'm not going to allow comments that are just F-bomb this, F-bomb that, nonstop cursing, because I feel like that's not a legitimate comment. I feel like if you can't express yourself without four letter bombs, expletives, then you probably, I don't know. I hate censorship, I don't like it. But at the same time, you know, this was a horrible, horrible crime and one of the most outrageous criminal defendants that I've ever seen. And to, you know, allow some of the comments that have tried to get through. YouTube's been real good about that. You know, they flag, they uh, hold them back. Um, it's just not something that I want to publish. You know, I know people are going to scream censorship, but maybe it is censorship. I, I, I don't like censorship, but I do think that for the really, really extreme cases, it has a place. And I know a lot of people out there are saying, well, you know, there's nobody that thinks that this guy should have walked. And I still have not really come across any comments that think that he should have walked, but they do feel that the trial was not fair. And um, I would say that they're down to maybe like 1%, less than 1%, but they're there, which is mind boggling to use the term from the great Durrell. But uh, now see like this guy here, this guy here does not see that I have the right to walk, but he's gonna try to cut me off. So his DOT number is 371005, and I'm gonna contact the board. This guy's an idiot. And this is what you gotta deal with. This is what you gotta deal with in downtown. Even though I still have five seconds to walk across, he was gonna try to cut me off with his truck. Jeez. Anyways, sorry about that, guys. Listen, I need you guys to do me a favor on the Sight Sounds Flavors YouTube channel. So I bought my uh, jackets, my blazers and all that, when I weighed 270. And right now, no joke, I'm weighing like about uh, 320. 
So I really need you guys to check in on me every so often in the comments. But look at all the cyclists there. I need you to check in on me and say, hey, what are you weighing? Because I gotta get back down to the 270s. And um, I actually got down to 248 a couple of years ago and uh, you know, just let go of myself. But uh, you know, it is what it is. But back to the Italian about Darrell and the fact that uh, he was impossible to deal with in the court and the fact that uh, so many people have an issue with the fact that he was sent into the courtroom. And they run the gamut, folks. Some of them drop the expletives and the bad words and just are outrageous, very similar to Durrell. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Others are more in the legal scholar area and some are just downright skeptics. And that's, I understand, I mean, I get it. You wanna be able to confront your accuser, in this case, the state of Wisconsin. You wanna be able to question witnesses. You wanna be able to, you know, be there and see everything as it happens. But um, this goes back to grade school. And I hate to simplify it down like that because a lot of people take offense at that. But if you cannot have an inside voice, if you cannot have inside behavior, decorum, I mean, you're not, you know, at a noisy pub watching a football game, you're in a courtroom and you're in a courtroom where a case is being heard on a crime as heinous and outrageous as this one. So honestly, you can't expect the judge to have done anything differently than what she did, you know? And, and it's a good thing that for him that she didn't have him gagged. It's a good thing for him that she didn't have him watch the proceedings from his cell because all of these things would have been justified and she didn't do that. And then she went above and beyond to make sure to give this guy one chance after another chance after another chance. And baseball has three strikes you're out. They're all got like 10 of them. And he was still up to bat. So, you know, the reality of the matter is I can't think of a more fair judge. Let's get this guy here. Let's get this guy here. Let's get his plate. Let me get your plate. So that guy there, you saw him almost run down people. So, and then you saw him slow down. He didn't want me to get his plate, but uh, anyways, that's the joy of uh, crossing the street and walking around downtown Louisville. Check out that fog, it's crazy. That's a lot of fog right there. You can't even see the building, but uh, oh yeah, this is the Kentucky Center for the Performing Arts. Beautiful, beautiful venue. And those are some of the things that they got playing. So anyways, my arm's getting tired, I'll be back. So that's it folks. Can't say that it was not a dramatic morning, but the day continues, it is TGIF. And uh, you know, when I'm in front of my backdrop and I got my LED light on, I'll talk about Darrell and the trial and all the mind boggling tacit agreements. But when I'm doing these videos, walking and talking and trying to survive, not get hit by cars, you're gonna get it all, including my weight loss journey. You're gonna get it all. So guys, be sure to please like, comment and subscribe. Comments are so important, they inspire the videos. We all seem to love talking about this loser. So, but the comments pour in.